Good morning! Today is Monday, June 26th, and we are currently in the city because I have a gynecologist appointment. Um, I think this one's going to be an interesting one because we are discussing surgery. Um, and this is the first time that I've seen her since getting my EDS diagnosis, so I'm really hoping that she'll be on board. We'll see. I'll update you after. <laughs> Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. that when I was trying to update you about my gynecology appointment that my phone died in the middle of it and then when I tried to record it again I guess I didn't hit record and so here is my uh, gyno appointment update so it went a lot better than I was anticipating it to go I definitely thought that I was gonna have to fight a little bit more to get my point across because a lot of like endometriosis patients, especially in Canada, have to really fight for um, their spot on the surgery list. And so I definitely thought that that would have to be my experience as well. But my gynecologist, she's amazing. And she is probably the only doctor that I have that actually listens to me. And um, whenever she does recommend things to me, she does it so gently that I'm more likely to um, try the things that she recommends when, because her approach is not forceful and she's not just gonna drop me as a patient if I decide to not um, move forward with like hormone therapy or anything like that. Um, but she is going to refer me to a second gynecologist for a second opinion, just because we think that the endometriosis might have moved up into my diaphragm and so then she wants me to see another um, endometriosis specialist who also does surgery and then I can be put on both of their lists and um, hopefully get my surgery within like the next year or two. That's the only downside is the wait list is a year minimum. Um, but she is going to put me on the cancellation list as well. And in the meantime, we're gonna do another ultrasound to um, just take a look to see if we can see any cysts or anything that has progressed since 2019 when I had my last ultrasound. And then gonna try a few new like prescription cream type things and see if we can get some things under control. So yeah. But today is Thursday. Nope, it's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, June 28th. And I have another doctor's appointment today. And I thought I would maybe walk you through how I prepare for my appointments. So as someone who has a lot of health issues, um, it's important for me to really um, make the most of my appointments and so what I like to do when I prepare for an appointment is I make notes on my phone about what I want the appointment to be about so if I'm having new symptoms or something that I've been concerned about for the last while that's usually at the top of my list um, I list out all of my symptoms I list out like how long they've been happening how frequently and what I would like my doctor to do about it depending on the doctor the doctor that I'm seeing today you pretty much have to tell him what you want done otherwise he won't do anything um, so today I need him to go through my prescription for my pots and um, either refill it or we may need to try a different medication just because I don't know if it is fully managing my symptoms the way that we wanted it to and then I've also been dealing with a ton of fatigue which has been making everyday chores and just life so incredibly difficult like I live in bed these days and it's so frustrating to me because it's summer and I want to be outside and I want to go for walks and I want to just do things and I'm not able to do that because all of my energy 
is used up by very small tasks like doing the dishes or the laundry or I work from home and even that has been a huge struggle even though it's all just computer work and it takes such little effort even that has been too much for me some days and so just seeing if he has any recommendations on things that I can take or try I might see if he might be on board to try some IV therapy for this summer for my POTS and also just to get my hydration up because of my stomach issues I haven't been able to drink as much water as you're supposed to get in a day and then because I have POTS I'm supposed to be getting like double that amount of water and I'm not able to do that and so I might push and see if he would be willing to prescribe me a couple of weeks of IV hydration therapy but we'll see it's not really something that they do in this area but I am also going to run out to the store and get an Amazon card because I'm going to be trying a salt supplement because you, with POTS you're supposed to increase your salt intake and I've been really trying but it is hard for me because I grew up in a family where everything we bought was like the less salt version and we would like never salt our food or anything like that and so now to like have to do salt on like everything and add salt in has been a little bit of a challenge especially with my food stuff and so ways that I have been combating that so far is I bought I don't know if you've heard of Pedialyte but they make like freezies or like popsicle type things and so I've been doing those quite a bit because they taste amazing and they have about 120 to 130 milligrams of salt and so that on top of doing BioSteel which also has like 300 I believe of salt um, will be helpful already and then taking these salt tablets once I get them they are 500 milligrams each and so that is good because I think I'm technically supposed to be getting like 3,000 milligrams of salt and I'm not getting that right now so we're gonna try we're gonna see um yeah I also just need to think through what else I would like for him to do I usually um stick with like three things because he's more likely to do those things if I only stick to like three and he's also super hard to get in with and I'm not exactly his favorite patient and so um, it's really hard to get in with him and I had definitely considered canceling this appointment just because I didn't feel like I had anything too pressing other than needing a prescription refilled um, but because I can't get in with him until September I need to do this appointment today but yeah I'm gonna go do something. The dishes are calling my name. The laundry is calling my name. We'll decide what we end up doing. My house is a disaster. Don't judge me. I've been really tired. But I just ran out to go get my Amazon card and I picked up a new flavor of BioSteel and I figured why not try it. So this one is called Fruitropolis and the lady at the store said that this is one of her favorites. So we're gonna try it. Okay. This is kind of the cup that I typically use for my bio steel, so I'll put that in there. It's very like berry scented. Bring you over here. See, look, my dishes are literally spilling out of the sink right there. It smells so good. And it's also this really pretty like lavender color. I also have an avocado just chilling right here. It's tasty. Ooh! I 
I like this one. It's like really sour. I love that. Okay, I gotta do dishes because, okay, here's the deal. So a couple, like about a month ago, we had like a, I don't know what you call it, but we live in an apartment building. And so then they always come every year to check the smoke detectors and the fire alarms to make sure that everything is working. And since they did that, Pretty much everyone for sure on our floor our smoke detector detectors they just beep all the time <clears throat> so right now this is unsafe but we have not had our smoke detectors plugged in um just because they were like beeping at like two in the morning and like very random times and just so inconvenient so someone is coming today to fix that in our building but I always like I know I don't need to be but I always feel a little bit embarrassed if someone comes into my house and there's like dishes everywhere and like literally the couch is like covered in clean laundry right now so I need to at, like at least get that done before I head to my appointment so yeah <laughs> exhausted my appointment was at 1 30 and it is currently three o'clock and it also went better than I thought it was going to um so I had originally gone to refill my prescription on midodrine and then discuss IV hydration blah 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 unfortunately my area does not have like an infusion clinic or a place where they offer IV hydration so my doctor just said, if you ever get to a point where you're not able to consume enough liquids, then I would recommend going to the ER for um, hydration. So that's what he said. And then he gave me a prescription for compression stockings. So I had been prescribed a pair from my cardiologist but they were for like waist high and because of my endometriosis I can't stand anything being tight around my waist and so then I asked him to prescribe me some that are like thigh high and then also some that are knee high just so that I can pick and see what I like so um I went and got fitted for those and man they're expensive I'm so glad that I have insurance I just really hope that they'll cover it um and then what else I also went for blood work because he did seem quite concerned when I told him how little fluids I'm able to intake. So then he's basically checking for signs of dehydration and everything like that. And so I went for blood work and it is now pouring outside, which is such a wonderful thing to see because we haven't had rain in a very long time. So I'm gonna show you because it just makes me so happy. And then I'm gonna go take a nap because I am exhausted.